It's time for some wholesome top lane Ornn action. We are playing against a Warwick with uh, press the attack or rather empowerment. So in the early game, we are not going to play at all. We're going to stay at max range. It's going to go for some CS. Then we go some, for some crafting and we are basically chilling. Look at him. He is already looking for a quick little trade, but we just stand away and we observe. There's not much happening, but the funniest part is the earlier chat before this game even happened. The people were just constantly flaming each other in Turkish. So no idea what they even said. Just something about pigs and dogs and being angry at each other and trolling if something goes wrong. I just really don't know. Anyway, in this game, there's going to be one key situation. And if I won or if I lost, you will find out after you completely watch this video. But it's definitely a moment that is a complete game changer. A massive, uh, well, T-Rex situation. And you would definitely not be too unhappy watching this one. So yeah. Through the laning phase, we just try to be as, t well, humanly possible in the sense of tankiness. And since we don't have any kill pressure anyway, we just ignite him to get some chip damage. To deny him the extra healing from the fruit. Because for these plays, we can at least do some good chip damage with the second ability and the passive. But yeah, it's not that much. We get him relatively low because he tanks a tower shot and we put him in a really dire spot. He really needs to pick up the fruit right now and Camilla's on her way up here. Sadly, he RNGs the uh, Soraka ultimate. So he gets healing on the entire team and even an assist. Amazing. We love Wild Drift. Quick knockback combo, quick little damage onto Warwick. He mitigates most of the damage though, takes another turret shot and now Camilla's on the way. Little Wolfie, it's time to send you off into a cane season 2 where you belong because you don't belong into this lane and you are a goner. And he gets bonked on the head, Camille will claim the kill for herself. And we are more than happy with the outcome of this play. With this done, we will now fully push the wave, hopefully um, get the scuttle, not the scuttle crap, the uh, baby scanner, and with the baby scanner, in our clutches, we can finally gain some extra money from the platings while going base anyway. We'll pick up plated steel caps uh, because Warwick, in theory, does um, a good amount of hybrid damage. However, he will still auto-attack frequently and have a Xin Zhao. Alternatively, you could argue that going for Mercury Treads is also a good choice. Mercury Treads will help me a lot more against Warwick, but not as much against Jinx and, for example, Xin Zhao. Since I'm not planning to really fight the Warwick until I have at least some anti-healing and a few items, um, it doesn't really matter too much to me because I'm not itemizing against him. So it's completely okay. Warwick comes closer here. We get him close enough for a good setup. And now we just go onto his forehead. Oh, well, I guess he's gone. What we could have done is we can Camilla ult into Arnold, but now he just walks up for no reason since he has no ultimate now. We just hunt him down. Oh my god, he's so mad. And we double knock up combo onto the Xin Zhao as well. Poor guy. And he also dies. Wholesome tank gameplay with a little bit of a Camille jungle setup. And now we have Demolish procs. Because, well, if you're playing duo queue with a jungle that has this good amount of setup... Just take Demolish, just hit some towers, enjoy your time, and any poke rune against Warwick that you could normally think about going, for example, Cheap Shot or anything on Ornn, doesn't really have any value. And for some reason, our Mumu support just gets a double kill on the other side of the map. What do we say about this one? Angry Toilet Paper Gap. Little Scorpion being picked up. I don't really deal too much damage to that guy, which is kind of sad. It's like, hmm, what do I go for? Anti healing will not really make me kill him because I can't, I don't have enough damage to do so. So, do I really need to rush anti healing? I don't think so. I'll rather just go for a hard steal and get some scaling going so I get at least one combo in into a quick hard steal proc. Look at him walk around here, just make sure to remain healthy so no incidents happen around the corner, because that would be detrimental to my game. Oh, I missed a cannon. Minus one, minus one piggy in the chat. And it's just important that I just play around his Q every single time, but if he lasts it's a minion, he just gets half the cooldown back anyway. It's just not much I can do. I do a good trade, walk away, but he just heals up again. 
And if I press ult, he just presses ult and I look very stupid, so yeah. <laughs> Running slowly out of mana, uh, Warwick? He just did a little oopsie, because now you will die. Goodbye. Ah, uh, well, that was a little bit overkill from us. I wanted to use my ult for the Camille to save ult. But, uh, well, we do it anyway, it doesn't matter. The wholesome top lane action, very skillful. It's so funny because people actually believe that playing tank top is more skillful than playing an AD carry top. Even bruisers believe so, which is crazy to me. Because it's so much easier to just sit back, relax, scale anyway, have your second wind, have your uh, defensive boots and just chill for the next season. Now we got closer to our anti-healing and we have a good amount of damage right now. We have a good amount of HP. And with that, we will have plenty of opportunity to actually deal with the Warwick. Or at least set up our Camille even better. We become tankier and tankier and therefore have big impact during fights, making it borderline impossible for the enemy to get anything done. Little heart steel proc, did he just ult into me or am I stupid? That's a little bit crazy. Let me craft my item. Doink. It's mine now. But I, rare, I, like, I rarely play Orn. And I always forget to craft around my teammates. So they don't get the uh, benefit. And my cat is going crazy. Like this Warwick is going crazy. He feared me in the perfect moment. But he will still die. Farewell, Mr. Warwick. Was a good fear by him to deny my ultimate's reactivation. Unfortunately for him, it didn't matter. It is what it is. We have the Herald in the mid lane placed down. We are running down side lane, creating some pressure, and then hopefully, once we have ult again, we can look for a good side lane play and collapse into the mid lane. There's something happening. We are walking over because we kind of have to, uh, given what is happening right there. Our Ka our Camille died. We don't. I don't think we really die here. We just walk away. We will get another hard steel proc. One for me. Oh, they're really angry. They're all chasing like absolute mad people. So we have to actually burn flash. But this could actually be a pretty decent fight for us. Nice ultimate by the Amumu. We deal good damage back, but there's no damage dealer here. If Jinx actually hit that ultimate, we all simply die. And that would have been terrible. Ult coming in. Where they're walking. Well, terrible ult by me, but it will still be enough to at least catch one. Maybe we'll catch another one. Ari walks into the heal for whatever reason. And now the poor Warwick is uh, on an adventure, but he actually escapes. <laughs> we love Wild Rift, don't we? And yeah, Turkish in chat constantly. I don't know what they're saying. And if anyone wants to enlighten me, are they flaming? Are they giving each other compliments? But given the fact that something is being censored, I assume they are not really that friendly towards each other. But who knows what can possibly happen in this video game. Ah, oh, missed another cannon. It's terminal. Please send help. Formail fully completed. Uh, the reason why we fully complete Formail is since we have hard steel offensive boots and a decent amount of HP, Formail is going to reflect a big chunk of damage. Yeah, that is not going to happen, my friend. They'll just kill the tower, get the reset, zoom around, and yeah, we will have some bad times happening. So we'll just deal with the Warwick on the other side. He takes a good amount of damage, as you see, with the power of Thornmail. Makes it definitely a lot more problematic for him to actually just run us over. But the Warwick, the Sniffer, a Kane Season 2 hunting down my angry toilet paper. And actually succeeding in doing so. Therefore, we are not really that happy about the outcome. Now, Mr. Xin Zhao is uh, on an adventure to steal away jungle. And I don't know what he is saying again. I think he's crying about something. So, yeah. Well, we found the enemy AD carry. So, what can we do with an AD carry? Hello. Good day to you. The wholesome AD carry experience. Yeah, I think I outplayed her. What do you guys think? Oh, there's a lot of people here. And I just die. 
If I get my ult off, it's going to- it would have been so good. Camille? Camille! Ah, well, karma, GG. <laughs> Skipping the death part so you don't have to, uh... Observe the boring parts of the game. Meanwhile, the team secures the dragon while we had some fun on the other side of the map. If I remember correctly, there's one big fight that turns out to be so bad. That actually um, made the game so much harder because so many things went wrong in that sequence. Will I miss the cannon? I missed the cannon. I have a disease. I have an illness. My cat has the zoomies. She's running behind me. It's currently 7 in the morning. I just recently woke up. I played with her and she's zooming around. Her eyes are the size of the globe and she's zooming around, wiggling with her tail, wiggling with her butt, looking at me and just jumping. It, I don't know what's wrong with her. I think she took some substances. Some catnip uh, overdose or something. I have no idea. Anyway, back to the uh, real... Ad I missed another cannon. Can somebody please tell me in the comment section how many cannons did I miss? How terrible am I? Got that one though. Got him. What is my toilet paper doing? A mumu? A mumu? I guess. Very interesting choices by the Omu bro. Angry toilet paper, definitely not on my top 10 uh, friend list. But it is what it is. What can you do? Oh yeah, and if you're watching this video and you're still interested in buying Fiend Quella skins, first off, don't over gamble. Don't spend too much money you don't have. Don't go into debt or anything because these skins look good. But if you want to save some money, use code CRUX10. Check the, the link in the description below and join the server. That way you can save a lot of money if you're interested in buying Fiend Quella skins. So don't forget that one. Looking for another adventure up here with the Camille. Having my Abyssal Mask very soon. Crafting it as we speak. We have peaked now. I don't think I've given a single craft to my teammate. I'm such an amazing teammate. Okay, this could be insanely massive. Hit the ult. The enemy is now packing up. They get CC'd once, they get CC'd twice, and it's a Vombo. Enemy AD carry located. Flash on top of them. Well, bye-bye. They're dead already. Uh-oh. Vorovico. We'll get him. Get his ass. Bonk. We got him. Meanwhile, Zin Zhao is zooming away. Okay, now I remember this. Look at Zin, look at look at Vladimir. He's pushing, right? He is pushing. There's only one person alive. Karma is one HP. Vladimir flashes in and dies. He managed to actually die against the Karma with no HP, diving under Nexus. We just wiped them without him being there. He pushed bot lane, which is fine, right? But then chooses to die against air. How, how do you like that one, chat? How, how do you enjoy this um, crazy experience, uh, which we call Wild Rift? Hmm, what are we going for? Build more armor. We already have a Bistle Mask stacked up, so we just buy the components for more armor. And we're looking to get a mantle of the 11th hour, 12th hour, 13th hour. I always forget about the name because who in the in their right mind uh, calls it mantle of the 11th, 12th or 13th hour? Just call it, I don't know, mantle of brokenness. I really don't know. I always forget that one, which is completely my fault, but gotta complain somewhere, you know. Oh, Karma, Charm connects. Oh my god, Senna, where did you go, bro? Did you see that bonk? Got him! Xin Zhao, you're on the hit list. You will not move. Just move, bro. Just play, yeah? Just play. Just play. Meanwhile, the sniffer is hunting down Vladimir, the vampire, and the scissor lady. Not scissor lady. The uh, scissor leg lady are taking care of the angry wolfman. Poor Vander. Wait, is this a spoiler? I think everyone knows at this point, right? I think so. I think it was told already in the first season. 
If you didn't know, I apologize. Uh, pretend what I was saying was a joke and a lie. Time to get this. I got charmed midair. My tower now. I'm put on a leash. Feels bad, man. The Jinx is runanzing around. The, the the Turkish chat is going crazy again. I have like it's actually a saving grace that I have no idea what they're saying. It's saving my mental so much. And now, yeah, this, yeah, 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 this part is terrible. Okay. We randomly take a fight here for no reason. We go t here to assist. Okay, we are walking away. Jumping over the wall here. Everything is still fine. We get another pickup. And now, the sad part happens. We get an old knockup. Okay, the sad part is I get, <laughs> I get whiffed back. Or dragged back by the karma old, so my E is buffered, and I just jump into my little what is it called pillar. And now, thanks speaking. Mid, we we lost the game, and I'm just telling clear wave mid with R like the next wave if they if they choose to finish, which they don't. I don't. I think they could have at least attempted to. And we have more flame and more flame and probably more flame in the chat. Them being very angry at each other when both of them are running down the moon who has GA, by the way. You see, he has Guardian Angel. He has a Guardian Angel. So, the quality of these games is immaculate. The highest level of gameplay on the Wild Rift server. I mean, this replay is a little bit older, but uh, I completely forgot about that one. And now Vladimir has some uh, unfortunate accidents in the mid lane once again. Dies randomly for the fun of the better days, and now the enemy is walking close. We hit them with a the knockup. We secure Nasha barely, and now we have to walk away and hopefully survive until better days. But now we've reached a point that is going to be a big problem. Look, guys, four people are dead. Only Lornito being alive. I think. Isn't. The word he's using saying dog? Isn't it dog? I think so. Let's see, like, I'm not the only no words I know. And now it's time. T-Hex against five people. We can win it. Tail whip them into the next season. Blast them with the laser. You will not escape. Blast them again. And now we have to keep the wave away from the tower. Tail swipe them away again. Make sure the tower protection stays activated. And we have to go in. We have to deny them every possibility. And we give them with the biggest bonk ever. Bonk. And we kill them. Look and we need to just look. Look at the damage, yeah? Look at the damage. Abyssal Mask being stacked up. You see the Nova. Boom. And even more damage on top of them. And we, they just all die. They all got killed. And we nearly finished with this wave here. There is just no way. We just take a look at this. Ah, Jinx is here. Feels bad, man. But now we have Elder. We'll fast forward to the fight action. Uh-oh, Jinx, you've made a tiny mistake. A Mumu flashing over, angry toilet paper on duty. Camille just putting you into the prison. You're in the dungeon now and you're dead. Now the sniffer, where did the sniffer go? The sniffer has some orientation problems, goes to the, jumps to the wrong direction, misses everything and we just turn our backs and go back to Elder. While well, I'm just running down Midland. Hello friends. Any uh, any helpers? Meanwhile, Vladimir is encountering some issues again. Karma on the hunt. I'm like, okay, Karma is dead. Whatever. Well, time to push. And now we snipe the wave with our ultimate to allow the Camille to push even faster. Flash over the wall for style points. Looking for the Ari to just piss off. We get her, get his ass, and we get this, and we actually won. Can you imagine? The wholesome tank experience, the Wild Rift extravaganza, the mental destruction <laughs> of all times. League of Legends, Wild Rift. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to come back tomorrow for another video. And if you enjoy more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. I try to mix up the content here and there with different videos. And if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see each other for more tomorrow. Bye-bye.